Today on Cruise Man's Garage, I'm going to show you how to install this Rachio Smart Sprinkler Controller. This is an 8-zone system, and we're going to replace a Hunter Pro C model. This is a Hunter Pro C system. Um, I'm going to open the door here. And this gives me access to where I can see all of the wiring. So the first thing I want to do is take some pictures because I want to be able to match up these wires later on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is unplug this power transformer. And then we should be able to... It's sort of interesting because all of these wires <laughs> happen to be the same color. Uh, they're all red. That's kind of uh, interesting. And you can see, you can't see it from where you are, but there's different zone numbers in here. This is the uh, Hunter Pro C model that I'm trying to replace. Uh, there's a, a few differences that are kind of unique, apparently, to the Hunter. You can see there's some, some small wires coming out of the, uh, the installation that go up here to... Uh, one of them it goes to... Uh, called RIM, which is actually for remote. Um, there's an AC1 and an AC2, and then there's uh, you know, a few other wires that are coming from the power uh, transformer. Now, per the Rachio website, these are all really unnecessary for the Rachio unit. So basically, I'm going to disconnect them. I'm going to seal them with electrical tape so that they don't you know, ever go hot and we don't really need these at all for this installation. Down here, we've got a common wire, which is white. This black wire came loose. It's actually for the master valve, and we'll connect that to the M terminal on the Rachio. And then each one of these is connected to a different station. Since they're all the same color, they're all red, I'm gonna disconnect them one at a time and connect them to the Rachio. Uh, and then, rather than having to go through and label each one. You can see now I've got all my wires labeled so with the station numbers so now I can go ahead and disconnect all of this take off the old system and mount the new Rachio. Okay, when I'm going to try to decide where to mount this on the wall, I'm going to get my wires up here, which mine come through a PVC pipe, and I'm just going to kind of hold this up, and I want to make sure I've got enough space. I'd like to kind of try to center this. It's almost centered with this blue, this old mounting hole here, but I just want to make sure I've got enough room for these wires to get up to all the different... Uh, pots that I've got up here. And it uh, looks to me like about right there is a good place to start.
mash it down with this little Phillips head. You know, like I said, you have to mash it in pretty hard and then push the wire in and let it go and it should stay in. It should not uh, wiggle out. There, it's, in, it's in pretty good there. What we've got here is the white wire, which is the common. We've got one through eight, which are eight watering stations. And they're all numbered up here so you can see them. There's another common uh, terminal just in case you have two commons. On this one we only had one. Up here we have the the uh, flow master valve which is marked with an M. So that went into the M space and that's all of the wires that we're supposed to use. There were three wires on the Hunter Pro C uh, that come out of the ground or out of the PVC here that are not used. We have a blue light flashing. I hope that's a good thing. Okay, as you can see, I've already downloaded this app and put it on my uh, Android phone. So I'm going to open the app. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it's asking me to register and set up a username, password. I'm going to go ahead and do that offline, then we'll come back and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so right now I've got two lights blinking. There's light one and light two. I think light one just means there's power. Light two tells us it's trying to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So what I have to do is in the Ratio app, I'm going to have to add the device, and I'm going to do that now. I've gone ahead and I've set up an account on the Ratio uh, through the app. Uh, this is a Ratio Gen 2, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And then I am going to go ahead and allow it to access the location. And right now it, it says it's trying to find the device. It looks like it did find it, so somehow it found this uh, uh, system that we just mounted on the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Okay, now it's asking for the available networks, and these are the networks in our area, uh, Wi-Fi networks. Uh, Cruise Report is the network we have here. Uh, I'm going to enter my password real quick to connect to the network, and then I'll come back and we'll finish up from there. Um, now the app is asking me for a serial number of the controller. You'll notice that I've removed the cover again, and that's because the serial number is located right in here. So I'm going to get this serial number, type it into the app, and then we'll come back and finish up from there. Okay, so now it says it's connecting to the device. I think once it actually connects to the device, I'll see another light on the uh, sprinkler controller. Now it says it's reconnecting to the device. Not sure what that means. Both lights are now solid blue. They're not flashing. And I'm now getting a third light. I think that's a good thing. And it says it's waiting for an internet connection. We're pretty far away from my Wi-Fi hotspot, so I don't think we've got a real strong, fast signal out here in the garage. So we might have to figure out something to do on that. I'm just letting you see exactly real time how long this thing takes to connect and hook up so that you don't freak out if it takes you a long time on yours. Now you can see we have all the lights. It does say device activated right here. And then a button says continue to set up. I don't know if you can see it, but this, all those blue lights are now lit up on the, con on the uh, controller. Let's continue to set up. Okay, it's got my zip code. I do have a master valve, so I selected yes from the drop-down. And now it says it's configuring the device. Now it says device configured. And now I can start using the controller. So I can set up zones, I can start using the controller, if I tap that,
This looks like basically a tutorial. It's just basically going to go through and show you how to set up the zones and things. So I'm going to do this offline for now. I think once you get the unit installed, you get the app installed, you got it connected to your device and Wi-Fi, I think you're good to go from there. The app pretty much walks you through the rest of the way. And um, good luck.